We have several prayer requests uh, this morning. We have uh, a request for Barb Myers in the death of her husband, Albert. <clears throat> so we'll, we'll pray for her. Um, those of you on the prayer chain got the message uh, that Margie Amstutz uh, fell and uh, broke her pel pelvis, and so she's uh, pretty debilitated. Um, uh, we ended up taking the wheelchair over here from the church that, so she can move around and stuff like that, but she uh, definitely needs our, our prayers. Um, we want to pray for, for Kevin. Uh, he's got, it looks like he's got a tumor be, behind his eye. That's... Is, is that right? Yeah. And uh, so they're, they're continuing to do tests on that. Uh, and pray for Martha as well. Um, and then I have an uh, update on, on my grandson, Hunter, who we talked about uh, <clears throat> being in the hospital. Um, it was, I believe it was Tuesday. Uh, they were going to do a surgery because he had, had uh, blood filling up his lungs. And so they were going to uh, uh, go in and, and uh, basically clamp off the pulmonary artery so he wouldn't have blood in his lungs, but it was essentially a comfort care, palliative care kind of thing. But when they went in for that, they, they found another ventricle. He had been missing... He had one ventricle that basically wasn't functioning. And they found another one uh, behind his heart. <laughs> and they were able to hook it up. And so it looks like now he's going to make it. They said his progn prognosis is good. So <clears throat> he still has a long way to go. They said he'd still be in, in uh, Akron Children's for, you know, two to three months at least and have several more surgeries. But... Uh, Definitely a miracle. So, um, we must thank God for that. Um, other other prayers or praises. Yes. banging into the furniture and he was drunk at 8.30 a.m. Steve had to pick him up off the street. Oh, boy. When he's sober, he's the sweetest, nicest man there could be. But this is killing him. This disease. Mm -hmm. If you could maybe say a special prayer for, for Russ. R Russ is his name? Okay, sure, sure. Okay, any, any others? Okay, let's, let's pray together. Jesus, we want to say thank you for being a God that answers prayer. Lord, when we go to you in prayer, we know that you heal the sick. We know that you do miracles. We know that you direct our lives. We know that you bring repentance and freedom and recovery. So Lord, we, we do want to lift rust to you right now. We ask that you would you would break through uh, this alcoholism, Lord, and you would bring, bring sense to his life, Lord. Help him to encounter you. And Lord, we know that with a, with a touch of the master's hand, he can, be, he can be delivered and healed from that. And so we pray for that. We ask God that you would bring hope, bring motivation. And Lord, turn that situation around, we pray. Lord, we do want to pray for... Margie and for Kevin and for Martha and for Hunter and for Barb, we ask God that your grace would be shown in mighty and powerful ways. 
Lord, be the God that you are in their lives. Lord, show your healing touch, your comforting touch, your hope, your strength, your grace. Lord, glorify yourself in in each of these lives, we pray. And Lord, we pray for our country. Lord, we pray for those in authority uh, over us. Lord, for those in in the government, we pray that you you would lead. Lord, we pray for our president, Lord, that you would, you would lead him in, in your direction, Lord, that you would uh, lead this nation to a sense of recovery and, uh, Lord, bring healing, we pray. Lord, we pray for our church, that we would be a light in the community. We would be a place of hope for the hopeless and place of strength for the weak. And, Lord, a, a place ultimately of salvation where people could come and know you. Lord, these are our prayers, and we pray them in the name of Jesus, our Lord, who taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.